Polar Plunge for year 2021. Woo! Obviously the biggest thing this year was Squid Games, so we're doing a little Squid Games competition up in here. We're not doing our traditional Polar Plunge, instead we're doing um, a type of like Squid Games competitions in the pool to see who's going to win this year. So, so not only- four different rounds mm -hmm. that are gonna be happening. It is like 40 degrees. The it water has to be here. like 30 degrees. So, it's, and it's been raining all morning, so it's freezing. Not to mention, just like Squid Games, we have a big money prize at the end. We are doing a hundred dollars a head, which means we'll land somewhere around a thousand dollar prize. Oh yeah, that's I'm, a lot I'm of room for that. <laughs> that pays for a whole month's rent plus some. Okay, that's, I am comp competing for this. Yeah, and I'm I can buy furniture for my new house. So, let's go. If you've seen the show Squid Games, you obviously are familiar with the popular red light, green light game. We are going to be playing that in the freezing, frigid, cold pool. So basically how it works is there's gonna be someone at the end of the pool saying red light and green light. You have to move into the pool and swim across when it's green light, but if they say red light, you have to stop and freeze where you are. If you move, you're out, you cannot win, you cannot get the money prize, but if you make it to the end of the pool, under the time limit, you move on to the next round. So, let's go. We've got our red light, green light, baby doll over here. I'm red light, green light. How are the contestants feeling? It's already so uh, cold and we're not even in yet. No, I'm gonna win, I'm ready. No. Green light, yes! Red light! Ooh! Red light! Oh! Red light, out! Red light! Yes! Green light! I think Paisley pushed me. No, just <laughs> it's cold, but it's all right. How y'all feeling? I'm feeling good. On to the second yeah, round. Let's go. I'm really good. Yeah, I'm not gonna put my face in there. obviously going to be tug of war because that's how it was in Squid Games, but instead of doing it in teams, we're going to be doing it one on one. So whoever passes the first round, we're gonna be pairing them based off kind of weight and height, so it's a little bit fair, and whoever gets pulled in loses that round of tug of war. We need an even number for the second round. Three people caught out in red light, green light, so we're gonna have two of the competitors compete in rock, paper, scissors to see who can move on to the next round. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, that's one. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. We don't have a rope, so we are gonna be doing tug of war with the hose. As you can see, we have it strung all the way across the pool. This is kind of the backyard version of Squid Games. We are doing the best we can. We, I wish we had a rope this long, but this is what we're gonna have to use. No, I'm not. You ready? <laughs> Let's go, boy. <laughs> okay, on your mark. Don't fall. Don't Get fall. set. Fall. Go. Come on, let's go. This is fair. Look at my arms. <laughs> Have you seen Skinny Boy over there? I think it's pretty fair. Okay, Asa versus Camry. On your mark, get that go. Oh, oh, she's got the whole body. Asa's struggling. He's struggling. Camry's tugging away. Ace is hurling. She's fighting. Oh, it slips through your arms. Camry, go. Oh, 
He's a cheater. Camry's got apparently got uh, some marks on her arm here from those. Ryan, Ryan let's see and Giselle. Go! Oh. 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 <laughs> you go, you're almost there. Right? <laughs> They're like evenly like split apart. <laughs> Ryan says, I'm not budging. It's life or death. Keep going. Oh, there we go. You guys jump in. Oh, you're going Oh! Setting Brooklyn up. Hey. New okay. towel, drying her off. Okay. <laughs> and now Asa's getting wow, Kaylee a new towel. Right <laughs> <laughs> the ultimate showdown. Okay. On your marks. Yes, popular game where they jumped on two glass panels and it was total chance on which one would fall through and which one would stay up. Unfortunately, I am not creative enough to figure out how to do that across the pool. So we came up with sort of a different version of the game. Basically, what we are gonna do is have each person that makes it to that round pick a number. We have already predetermined which numbers are going to be pushed into the pool and which ones are safe. So whenever they pick their numbers, they will go stand at the edge of the pool and then we'll count to three, the people who picked the push numbers will be pushed in and they lose, and then the other people who won get to move on to the next round. You can see one will be a push, two will be a safe, three will be a push, four will be a safe, five will be a push, so numbers one, or sorry, two and four will end up being the final round people. Okay, what number are you going to pick and why? Two feels like a safe number. Two feels like a safe number because it's even, it's a couple, it's, right? It's sweet. Yeah, ready? Hey, go, 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 go. Oh. No! This is gonna be push, I know. Dakota takes what's left. Dakota takes 
<laughs> what number did you pick? Four. Four. Why'd you pick four? In the heat of the moment, it just stuck out to me. Four stuck out to you. What'd you get, Rylan? Three. It's like Three. in the middle. It's like right. Like not too close, not too far. Like it's a middle just, child. Just right there. Just like <laughs> right me. in the middle. All right. How about you, Ryan? Too safe. It too feels safe, gentle. Like a couple. <laughs> Rylan or Camry got number one. Why'd you pick number well, one? I know Mom like thinks she's like number one, so I figured this would be like the winner. <laughs> Dakota, the gentleman. Like pick number five. five. <laughs> okay, everybody has picked their numbers, and their partners have been told whether that one number was a push or a safe number. And we are about to see what happens. Get your partners behind you. Okay. No, no, no. I meant three, two, one. Push or safe. They're warming up for the final competition. Obviously round four is the head-to-head -head final round, winner takes all. So what we're doing is having them start at the end of the, the pool, the long end, and they're gonna be jumping in and racing to see who can swim the fastest to the short end of the pool. Whoever gets there first takes the prize and wins the entire thing. So uh, how y'all feeling? Cold. Cold. <laughs> but ready to go. What, the real question is, what are you gonna do oh, yeah. with the twelve hundred dollars? I have a house I'm trying to buy right now, <laughs> so I'll put it towards uh, anything in my house at the moment. I have medical bills to pay, <laughs> but I'll buy you a housewarming gift. Oh. <laughs> oh, all right, let's get it started. Okay, pencil in, arms to side, no pushing off. On your marks, get set, go. Or, or in ultimate squid game fashion, you can opt to share. I can opt to yeah. share. <laughs> you don't have to share. Do you want to have the money? <laughs> sure. Okay. Yay! Thank you guys so much for joining us for our Woo! annual Polar Plunge. It was freezing. Yep. It was thank you. really cold. And we will see y'all next year when we do this again. Yep. Bye, guys. Bye.